Fala, galera, trazendo aqui Red Dead Redemption 2. Eu fiz uns upgrades aqui na, no nosso acampamento aqui, que eu já vou mostrar pra vocês. Eu comprei algumas acomodações, melhorei, né, no caso. Eu comprei aquela acomodação ali em cima de 220. Aí falta essa de 325 aqui pra dar mais uma melhorada. Peguei aquele palanque ali de 300. O galinheiro de 175. E a ferramenta de trabalho 225. Agora a gente pode trocar de roupa tudo. Eu acredito que deu agora por conta que a gente fez aqueles upgrade ali, né? E até vou aproveitar, vou tirar essa roupa do Arthur aqui que já tá, já tá grudando no corpo dele. Já tô pensando em colocar essa daqui, ó, que eu achei mais legalzinha. As outras eu não, não curti muito não. Essa aqui é mais ou menos. Essa aqui dá um, um, um outro toque nele, né? Dá mais um charme. Essa primeira parte aqui é mais para mostrar mesmo o, o que, que tá, já dá para colocar, né? Essa aqui é legalzinha também. Chapéu, parece que é chapéu de bruxo. Esse que a gente tá equipado. Esse aí. Eu tô deixando o Arthur crescer o cabelo e a barba, eu quero fazer um negócio diferente. Quero ver se ele deixa com, a... com aquele cavanhaque dele ali bem grande. Depois eu quero ir lá também, lá no... no... Olha só que massa, pessoal. Esse é massa mesmo, velho. Achei muito legal. A calça eu vou dar uma mudada, pessoal. Vou pegar mais escura. Essa sim, essa daí, ó. Essa aqui eu não achei muito legal, não. Eu acredito que seja só isso mesmo. Aí é, ficou bacana, ó. ficou legal, gostei desse visual aí dele. Morning, Arthur. Hello, Miss O'Shea. What is wrong with you? I don't like religious types. He's ill. Morphine. Weak. Not ill. Weak, repellent, man at his worst, hiding behind a pack of lies. Get lost! You know, Miss Grimshaw, I bet you were a tiger. In your day. Bye now. Get up, Reverend! Get up! You spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. Que cara chato, velho. Não aquele Wanna cara ali, Morgan? velho. Morning. Have an arrest there, eh? I'm boy. How boy earned it? Well, don't get too comfortable. Aquele sure. cara ali, aquele cara ali, pessoal, dá nos nervos, velho. John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. 
Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <sighs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> so you're heading to the wagon now? Soon, yeah. Okay. Hello? My husband owed you money. Here it is. Thank you. And your husband, is he well? He's dead. Combination of beatings and sickness did for him. My deepest condolences, madam. And mine to you. For all your wretched lives! All right. Morning, Arthur. Didn't mean for the fella to die. He was sick, Mr. Morgan. Not our fault. Nah. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Mr. Morgan. E o cara morreu, o cara que a gente foi cobrar a última vez lá, que acabou não pagando. Ela veio aqui pagar a dívida dele e ele acabou morrendo. É, eu vou ter que voltar, ainda bem que a gente não foi tão longe, né? A missão é no acampamento mesmo. Eu fico viajando às vezes, pessoal. Oh, às vezes eu fico me distraindo, achando que é tudo longe do acampamento e acaba, sa acaba saindo. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well... You know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. A nossa missão agora é diferente, né? Agora é sair com o Jack. O Jack é aquele menininho pequenininho, aquela criança, para quem não sabe. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. 
I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. <laughs> Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I can't wait to get started. You can't fish without a pole. At first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is Wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! There! Got him! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. See that cast, Jack? Pessoal, a vara de pescar eu peguei de um cara que tava pescando no off quando eu tava juntando recursos para o pau do nosso acampamento. Aí eu já não sei se quando viesse para cá com o Jack, né, a gente ia ganhar uma vara de pescar ou o quê, né? Eu essa parte eu já não sei. E eu também vou ter que ficar de olho nesse menino aí, velho. Porque esse menino aí, ele pode oh, sumir daí, né? Então eu não posso ficar muito tempo pescando, não. Sure is boring, Something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hmm. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Ah, 
Damn it. You can get him. Oh, no. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur. Whoop. I think I got one. I see. I see. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... The guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Os caras são safado, hein? Okay, Chegaram boy. aqui porque ele tava com uma criança. Olha a malandragem deles. Porque eles sabiam que se pegasse o Morgan ali, o Arthur, pegasse o Arthur ali sozinho, eles iam tomar chumbo. Aí eles aproveitavam a estratégia que ele tava com a criança. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? This is the wrong way! Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yeah. Getting on. Great. We caught a fish. 
And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? You're not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Huh. Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. É, pessoal, parece que o Dutch tá com medo, hein? Já apareceu dois investigadores ali da polícia. O cerco tá se fechando pra eles. E eu acredito que logo, logo nós já vamos ter que levantar acampamento e vazar daqui. Porque senão a coisa vai complicar pra gente. Morning. Já vamos lá, pessoal, fazer outra missão aqui. Aproveitar o embalo e só nas missões. Dá prosseguimento à história logo, né? O que eu tinha que fazer eu já fiz, né? Que foi juntar recursos em off para poder upar o nosso acampamento e obter mais recursos. Já vou ver o que é isso aqui. Pessoal, também gostaria de falar, pessoal, que eu tô sabendo que as minhas armas precisam de limpeza. Eu tô sabendo disso. Eu fiz um short desse, dessa série que eu tô fazendo aqui no, no canal aí. O pessoal, a, um, a pessoa, né? Foi a loucura que a minha arma tava suja. Foi a loucura. Ele enlouqueceu, assim, ele... Ele limpa essa arma e tal, sinceramente. Ah, as pessoas têm que entender o seguinte, que cada pessoa tem um sistema diferente de jogar, entendeu? Eu não vejo necessidade de eu limpar a arma agora. Até entendo a preocupação dele de ver uma arma suja, que foi terrível. Foi como se tivesse caído um copo de café no chão da casa dele. Ele enlouqueceu, porque a arma estava um pouco suja, mas tudo bem. E quando eu tava fazendo uma caça também, tava caçando ali, estragou. Ah, eu dei mais de um tiro numa onça que... Eita caramba, agora complicou aqui pra gente, hein? Agora complicou, hein? Que tombo feio. Não vai morrer, hein? Vê que o cavalo ia morrer. Continuando aqui... Eu, tava, eu não tava caçando uma onça, deu o caso que eu encontrei uma, um leão da montanha, onça ou um gatinho Que eu escrevi, leão, eu escrevi onça, ele foi um outro rapaz, foi aí a loucura Não é onça, é leão da montanha É, é nomes que eles ficam loucos assim, entendeu? É inacreditável Aí, já tô saindo daí, velho Aí, o que aconteceu? Fui atacado pela tal dita onça, aí eu dei mais de um tiro na onça. Nossa, aí apareceu outro. Nossa, ele estragou a pele da onça porque ele deu três tiros na onça. Véi, eu, eu acho os caras meio paranoicos às vezes, né, em relação a essas, esses detalhes aí. Ele queria que eu, que, que eu abraçasse a onça e pra deixar a pele dela boa, aí não dá, né? 
<clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this blocking the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, oh, please. Not this again. Oh. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's I get it on the tracks. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ah! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. 
on here? What's going on? Nothing good. I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. All right. Hey. Get on that train. Faster. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Stay calm and nobody will get shot. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! Please! Don't do anything! I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Don't do it! Stop it! For pity's sake! Please! What's the problem here? It ain't worth dying over. Tell him, Mr. M. Money, valuable. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Please. I want to count them. Damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm gonna make my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? Quick, come on! No, why do this? Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't in Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Please, Everything you got. Please. Let's go. Stop Don't it. do Stop it. it. Sick. Please. I'm not Don't a bad man. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. For fuck's sake! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, get up, you little Irish shit. Get up! This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We'll take that. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Some decent stuff. All right, we should probably be going now. These folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here. We're looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. 
Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Hey, there's a few more of them torn up. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Hey, we got more on the left. Oh, coming through the trees, you see him? Get rid of him, quick, so we can make a run for it. You're ready to die. Down. Look out behind us. Come on, Humphrey. Ah! Come right there. Oh, Stop now. Stop now. Stop Stop now. 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 Come on, boys, let's get the hell out of here. So much for the quiet approach. Let's go, boy. Mount up, Morgan, we gotta go. Right, let's lose them. Yep. Vamos ter que dar uma fuga sinistra aqui, pessoal. Porque o assalto aqui foi grande. Eu não consegui pegar tudo do trem ali, porque nem deu tempo. Aí tinha uma coisa ali que eu não poderia pegar, porque eu já tava cheio. Eu tenho que vender minhas coisas, velho. Tá me atrapalhando até fazer essas missões aí. E... Aproveitar aqui. E dar no pé, né? E pronto, já conseguimos sair. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Tava pensando aqui, pessoal. Os cara tá com a polícia na cola deles ali. Esse cara me faz esse assalto ainda. Pô, é pedir pra levar, né? E não só isso, né? Os 750 dividido entre a gangue, uma coisa assim. Cara, e o acampamento fica com quanto? Nossa, velho, essa divisão aí tá bem estranha, hein? De qualquer forma, pessoal, vamos voltar pra, pra nossa, nosso acampamento lá. Eu acho que eu vou tirar um sono e vou para a próxima missão tirar um cochilo, né? Aí nós já vamos fazer a próxima missão e vamos ver do que, que se trata, né? Porque a coisa está começando a ficar bem complicada aqui. Está bem complicada mesmo. Eu ia para o acampamento, mas aí eu achei melhor ir direto para a próxima missão aqui. Que é aqui pertinho. Aí a gente já vai logo para a próxima missão. You pay up or we keep up. It'll cost a sweet penny to get out of this, friend. You borrow from the Odrisco boys, you pay the Odrisco boys. What you staring at? Move I on. made it right with you, I swear. Well, then, I guess you forgot about the interest. 
This is calm first, huh? You might have just saved my life, stranger. You're telling me. Oh, sweet Jesus! O cara falou Driscolls ali. Eu nem pensei duas vezes. Peguei minha faquinha aí. E... Eu, eu, eu poderia ter usado a arma ali, mas ia chamar atenção ali. Ia complicar nossa vida. Ia aparecer testemunha. Aí ferrou tudo, né? Então fui na faquinha mesmo para evitar problema. Vou aproveitar, né? Dar uma volta aqui. Eu já limpo a minha arma. Antes que alguém aí que vê o vídeo acaba tendo um infarto dizendo: Nossa, a arma dele tá suja. Como se o cara tivesse aqui no jogo só pra limpar a arma, né? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Vou aproveitar também vou comprar todas as munições que tem. That's great. Se alguém não, não gostar de eu comprar todas as munições, parabéns, a opinião é sua. Mas eu vou comprar todas as munições de todas as armas aqui. Aí depois eu vou pegar e vou fazer modificações nas, nas munições para elas virar do... Eu acho que é do Dundum que se fala. Eu acho que é do Dundum que se fala. Nós podemos fazer muito com isso. Novo trigger, brand new bolt, seu pick. Eu recomendo loading up on extra ammo. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. No futuro eu quero deixar todas essas armas douradas. Se eu não me engano tem a... A opção de... Deixar elas douradas. Fazer uns detalhes massa é nelas. Deixar condição. elas bem bonitonas. Eu recomendo loading up on extra ammo. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. But it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Hey, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving.
It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar. Must be something else going on there. É pessoal, é só isso mesmo. Agora a gente vai ver aquela questão daquela missão. Howdy. I ain't got time. All good. Calm down. Hello, sirs. Morning, partner. Morning, friend. Hey, yo. Good morning, sir. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Uh huh. Tá rolando confusão ali, eu acho, hein? É, pessoal. Parece que a gente vai ter um duelo aqui, hein? Bora participar, né? Para participar desse duelo aí, vamos ver se o cara é tudo isso mesmo. Deixa eu ir por círculo aqui. And there we go. E se foi? Faleceu. A mecânica desse duelo devia ser um pouco diferente, né, pessoal? O que deixa a gente muito apelão usar aquele. aquele olho da morte ali. Fiz um cortezinho aqui, pessoal, pra pegar o cavalo aqui. Eu aproveitei e já passei a noite no hotel ali. Isso é uma coisa que não tinha necessidade de deixar no vídeo, né? Pra poder fazer a missão. Que a missão a gente não tava conseguindo fazer aquela hora por conta de... Desses caras aqui dos Odrisco aqui, que a gente pegou e matou eles na faca. Aí a missão, ela... Ela não deixou a gente fazer. Então a gente tá indo agora lá fazer ela. E já tá liberado de novo. The queasy feeling you've been having? I think that's because there's so many O'Driscolls about. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon. It'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. 
New centuries coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. We ain't on for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. Where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. É, Arthur, eu também não tô gostando disso. Tem que ali pegar um negócio. Geralmente quando fala isso é B.O. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Pelo menos a arma foi de graça, né, pessoal? Eu quero dar uma olhada nas modificações que, que dá pra fazer nela aqui. Pô, gostei. Bonita, hein? Vou comprar bastante munição. Vou comprar bastante munição porque eu não tô afim de ficar sem munição, né? Legal, pessoal. Vocês viram aí, ó. Dourado, hein? Pô, oh, que bonito. Esse aqui ficou top. Sure. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. 
You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. This way, Arthur. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Now the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? No, oh, day here, there, but not much. Those cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. You leave the sheep to me. You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Come on. Let's get this flock moving. What about that one back there? Keep them together. You ain't helping. Go, go! Yeah, yeah! Yeah! Easy. <laughs> That's more like it. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this.
Keep moving. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Easy. Those are up, boys. There you go. Eu fico impressionado que os caras roubam até ovelhas, velho. Nem as ovelhas escapa. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say, you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure, I'll excuse you for 25%. You want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as, I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Okay, fella. <laughs> Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Hey, it ain't that way. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Shoot. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Uh, howdy. Hello. Ugh. Whoa! Christ, Arthur! Young Jack rides better than you! <laughs> That's here, boy. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Well, hello there. Not everything, but After in the you, end, sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. 
compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromises. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Meepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out of what here the now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a I move. You think I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn. I'm right here, you ah! son of a 
sons of bitches! I can't ah! do this! At least you ain't pushing this! Catch our horses over there! Come on, grab Strauss! Please, you can't leave him! Are you getting Strauss or not, Arthur? Shoot him! Stop us! God! Stop us! Help me! Let's get Strauss! No! Arthur, we leave no man behind. Go get Strauss. Don't leave me here. Hurry up, Arthur. Let's get out of here. Eu tava tão concentrado ali nos caras ali que esqueci o cara dentro da carroça. Arthur! Arthur, come on! What the hell are you doing? You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Ugh. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I better get out of here. Poxa, na hora que eu ia no cavalo, velho. Bem na hora que eu ia pegar o cavalo. Tava bem na cara que isso ia acontecer mais cedo ou mais tarde, né? Agora tem que correr que nem maluco até o acampamento e vazar daqui. Sumir, né? No caso. Tem que se mudar daqui, porque não dá mais pra, mais pra ficar aqui nessa região. Pessoal, vou terminar o vídeo por aqui. Muito obrigado a quem tem acompanhado o canal aí. Muito obrigado mesmo, de coração. Abraço para todo mundo aí. Valeu e fui.